so much to clean. This is looking better already. See how dirty this is? I actually just wanted to clean all of this before I started uh, putting on my new radiator setup. Coral pot. Oh. So here's my radiator. Call your rad radiator. Here's the A and fitting. I'm going to change this out for a 12 inch straight blade spall fan. Uh, let me see. Uh, here it is. It's the swirl pot. So the swirl pot is basically going to connect right here to the head. So on this portion right here, it's going to sit literally right here. It's kind of a tight fit, if you can see from the shifter mechanism. So currently what I'm working on right now, I know I haven't done a video in a very long time, but uh, here we are. So this K2 line, which I'm still don't know if I want to run, I might go with the track tough one instead, but this is one I have right now for mock-up. Pretty much gonna line right here. This portion is gonna go to the bottom of the Koyo radiator. It's already welded for all in fittings, so I'm ready to go. So I was reading a lot of reviews on this K2 thermostat housing, and a lot of people were having issues with that uh, over the forums. Um, there's a couple of videos online, but if you're watching my channel and you have nothing, if you don't know anything about it, um, this is the version one K tuned thermostat adapt uh, thermostat housing. So originally, how it's originally mounted, let me find my stock hardline. So I took my stock hardline out. All right. So this stock hardline, this housing right here, usually this is supposed to be in here somehow. So um, and this stock housing right here plastic one actually sits right here on the water pump side so the plastic piece actually sits right here and most people will put it directly to the thermostat housing the plastic OEM one but I also read online that you can actually put this directly straight to the water pump housing and it does line up but the issues with that is not enough cooling and then you know bleeding the system all that there's a lot of horrible reviews about saying that this is junk and how there's not enough uh coolant that goes through the line so what i did yesterday is i went to my uh homie ken's house big red and he actually he actually gave me this thermostat um, i'm not sure the brand but he gave me a thermostat the c-clamp to fit inside the housing and he actually drilled two additional holes on the top so allows for more coolant to flow through so when you're installing this make sure that these holes are actually at the top and not on the bottom or anything like that. So they have to be facing the top. And hopefully, we'll see. Hope it all goes well. Quarantine, quarantine. Uh, okay, all the lines are hooked up. Got the lines hooked up. 18 swivel neck hooked up. I found a cool spot for coolant reservoir and then here's the swirl tank how it currently sits still have my stock harness so it's not nothing no wire tuck or nothing so everything's a mess but i don't really care i'm gonna show part of ways <clears throat> but we look that's pretty much how the swirl pot sits connects to the side of the head Here's the upper hose that goes straight from the swirl pot to the top of the radiator. Radiator has all the bungs welded, ready to go for all the and fitting conversion. So all we're waiting for is a fan because I don't want to run this China fan, this China 12 inch fan. I don't want to run this. So I actually bought a, a spall fan, a 12 inch straight blade spall fan. Uh, this one's actually a pusher fan. So what they mean by pusher is that it's mounted on the front of the radiator. If obviously the blades are directional, but if it's mounted on the back, 
This is considered a puller fan. So puller, pusher. This is obviously a pusher fan if the blades are going the opposite direction. Uh, yeah, but if you guys have confusion between the two, I don't know. Let me try to do it. Sure. You're better, human being. I know. Yeah. My car feels like it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Feels like nothing is in it though. Feels kind of weird. Let me see. It says don't use a blade, but whatever. Dang, this thing's like a. How small this is. How small this is. <laughs> For reference, like this is a gallon of water. <laughs> it's like a little Lego. Alright, I'm gonna switch out my battery. Here's uh, the Odyssey PC680. Um, it's a motorcycle battery, so I, I mean, you can't really expect a lot uh, from it. Uh, it was only like a hundred bucks, I think, on Amazon for the PC680 at the time. Add it to a kill switch, a battery kill switch that's actually right here. So I can switch off the power on and off, but even with that, the battery probably lasts about a year, a year tops, maybe, and some change, but we're gonna swap it out for this lithium battery one, so. Hopefully everything solves all of our issues. Okay, let me actually get inside. All right, got the battery hooked up. It's not mounted yet, but it's on, it's working. I actually need to get a different uh, battery tie down. It's kind of small. <laughs> so, whatever. It works for now. I'm just about to start the car right now and see. Hopefully, we don't have any damn leaks. I hope, I hope not. But everything's looking good so far. A little bit more light out here so you can see everything that's going on so there's the k-tuned thermostat right there and then let me see if i can try to zoom in here but there's all the it's all been converted all the plumbing's been converted to uh dash 16 line so here's the upper hose to the directly to the swirl pot and then here's the overflow tank right here so all right let's try to start it hopefully there's no leaks I really, really hope there's no leaks right now. All right. Let's prime it a couple times because I actually haven't started the car a couple months. So let's let the gas prime up. Here we go. turns on after it gets the running temp hopefully I wired it correctly so we'll see yes let it sit so if you can see the swirl pot how it here I don't know if you can let me try to zoom in there but I don't know if you can see it yeah it's too dark but there's actually it's literally actually what it's doing there's a swirl pot so it's kind of crazy how it's all how it all works but pretty dope uh, system developed by uh, Tracks Up Rob, so can't wait to see what it does. Hopefully, it makes a difference. We'll see. Pretty cool, though. No leaks, so that's.
that's a good sign. Those is leaking right here on the top, becoming uh, scared, but I forgot I, I just didn't have a funnel, so. Other than that, no leaks, looking pretty good. No leaks coming from the thermostat area. So, looking good, looking good. Not bad, okay. That's a good sign. So now we have to wait, hopefully the fans turn on. Sorry if the fan's like super loud, it's like a super, super loud fan. Everything's all hooked up, everything's good to go. Everything looking good. 